welcome back to my channel today we are going to be getting into some makeup of course and i am going to be just going through i'm basically going to be doing my face but then i'm going to get into detail about some products that you're gonna need to help your makeup last all day nevertheless y'all let's get right into it to be looking up at the camera but for the most part I would be looking at my monitor here because I can see myself but starting off with the first product as y'all can see I already have my brows done if you want a detailed brow tutorial comment down below and let me know getting into the first product we have our primer any kind of primer I use the milk hydro grip primer made by milk cosmetics and again if you have not watched my last video of my full makeup routine you might want to stop it and go there or you can watch this first either way it goes I feel like they're both helpful but we're gonna go in with some primer first you want to have you a gripping primer that is key that is how you're going to get your makeup to stick okay so we're gonna go ahead and go in with our primer and I just like to apply it like this and then I'm going to start in my forehead area and just like blend that out. Not blend it out, but y'all know, work it into my skin. And then bring it down the bridge of my nose. Make sure I get it in my T-zone area. Around my mouth where I know like I'm going to be talking. And in my chin area. Just going to work this into my skin. Until it gets tacky. And this primer is going to hold like I'm pretty sure that for any for my beginners you're some of y'all probably be thinking like why girls be using that primer like I see that primer everywhere because it really works like it really does what it's supposed to do and if you want your makeup to last long you need a gripping primer that primer is going to hold those products okay and who doesn't want their makeup to last all day especially when you're going out so the first key thing that you're gonna need is primer a gripping primer to be exact now they do have other good primers um you know made by other brands that aren't necessarily gripping primers but again today we're just going to be talking about products that help your makeup last all day and this is a primer that's going to help your makeup last all day now i'm just going to go ahead and go in with my foundation and then we're going to move on to the next step going to go ahead and blend this foundation into that primer I like to do buffing tapping motions I do not like to swipe any of my products on because when you are swiping you are just swiping away the product and we don't want to swipe it away we just want to get it evenly over the skin in all the areas that it needs to be I really should have took my nose ring out, but whatever. Once your foundation is done, now it's time for you to go in with the next step. Make sure y'all taking notes, okay? Primer, one. Make sure you get you a gripping primer. Add your foundation. Now we're going to go in with our concealer. And if you know me, you already know I'm going in with the e.l.f. concealer today. And I really don't want too much of a bright under eye, so I'm not going to go in with the two shades. I'm just going to... Highlight those areas of my face and do I want to use are we doing blush today yeah we're gonna do blush and I'm just gonna tap that in I don't want like a heavy heavy beat face today so we're not gonna do overdo it we're not gonna do too much like literally that's it that's all we're doing before blending all of this out we're going to go in with the next important product so before blending you want to go in and spray your face i'm going to be going in with the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray and this is what is going to help these products melt into my foundation that foundation is melting into that hydro gripping primer and everything is just going to hold so we're going to go in and we are going to spray like so we're just gonna start blending we're gonna pat 
pat that concealer in to place and I didn't let you don't want to let your setting spray dry down when you're doing this because then it's going to be hard to blend so you want to spray that setting spray get to blending and what this is doing once you've added that setting spray you are basically setting your face while you're blending and it just makes all the difference like don't skip this step you want your makeup to last all day you want to spray in between steps this is not a step this is not something that i do all the time but when i know like i want my face to like last for real i make sure i go in honey and i spray i use my products and we are just going to blend out the under eye and again i'm doing a very subtle face today so i'm not going to go in with that second shade of concealer like so i feel like that's a pretty good blend what y'all think moving on to the next step i'm gonna go in with my pressed powder first and look up set that under eye right into the corners that is the area that i like to focus on first when i'm setting my under eyes my corners because i don't want any creasing and if you want you know more detail like i said watch my everyday makeup routine that i uploaded in full detail as to why i do why why i take the steps i take and the products that i'm using we're going to set that concealer that's basically what we're doing make sure you get that forehead area everywhere you put concealer you want to go ahead and just set so that's all we're doing now we're going to go in with our bronzer and i'm just going to Go ahead and pat that into the areas of my face where I would have creamed contour. I did not cream contour today because, like I said, I'm only running errands. There is no need for me to go in and just do all of those steps and just, like, cake so much product up. That's not what I'm going for today. I just want a very subtle, light beat, and it is actually super hot outside today, so I don't want just, like, a lot of products, but... We're not going to skip bronzing the face. You never want to skip bronzing. Even if you skip cream contour, you want to add bronzer. That is what's going to give you that, you know, bring that melanin back into the face. And not even just that. It defines the face, basically. It scopes out the face. So you never want to skip putting on bronzer, even if you skip doing your cream contour step. I'm going to go back in with my blush. And I'm just going to go in with a blush brush, tap off the axis, and I'm just going to go right over where we already added cream blush. Because like I said in my makeup tutorial, everything you do with the cream, you want to do with a powder. Now I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation. This is what I like to use to contour my nose. And like I said, the shades of everything that I'm using is in the description of my full makeup routine that I uploaded so if you want to know what products I'm using then you might want to check out that video I really should be looking at the monitor right now but y'all I wear glasses and it just be so little like I can't see so far so good it looks good to me it looks good sometimes I feel like when I skip steps like my face might not come out the way like you know it could but I'm trying to get more into that soft, natural, not so beat face, if that makes sense. So, this is good practice. Now that we've added our powders, we're going to go in again and set the face. Whew. And this time, I'm actually going to go in with my fan and I'm just going to dry this down a bit because we're not done. So, I just want to kind of like speed up letting this setting spray set in now i'm going to go in with my charlotte tilbury translucent setting powder and i am just going to double set my under eye this is just a step that i found that also helps my makeup last all day to go in with the pressed powder first and then go in with your loose powder this is not something that i was doing like all these years I've been doing makeup you learn as you go there is never not nothing to learn when it comes to makeup so as a beginner you shouldn't never feel like overwhelmed or like it's just too much because 
I have literally been doing makeup since I was in high school and every day there's something new like new products new formulas new brushes new tools just there's always something new so don't feel bad don't get discouraged you just have to practice see what works for you because what works for one person may not work for you that is my advice to any of my beginners trial and error honey trial and error now we're going to go back in with the Fenty Beauty Powder Foundation with a powder brush. And I am just going to go all over my face just to go into those areas to get my makeup a little bit more blended and seamless. This is like a secret step of mine. Not a secret step because other girls do it. But I find that this really, really, really works for me and it really helps. So I just, I don't. This is a crucial step. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight, y'all. And this is the same highlight that I used in the last video. Like I said, I can't really show y'all because I dropped it and cracked it. But it still does what it's supposed to do. To add a little bit to the tip of my nose. I like to add it right to the tip. And then to the bridge of my nose where the sun hits. And guess what we're going to do now? If you guessed it, you guessed it right. We're about to set our face again. So we're going to go in and set. Now we're going to go back in with our beauty fan. And we're just going to let this just do its thing. I feel like that was so fast. Was that fast? Was that too fast? I don't know. I don't think it was fast. You basically need a good hydro gripping primer and you need setting spray. And you want to use your setting spray in between your steps. And that is what is going to help your makeup last all day. Like y'all, my face is going to stay like this all day. And like I said, I got to go out in the sun and stuff. So we don't need nothing shifting. We don't need nothing dripping. We don't need none of that. I'm just going to go in and add a little liner. Just a tad. And that is it y'all those are literally the only two things that you're gonna need for sure if you want to have your makeup last all day if this video was any help make sure y'all give me a like comment down below any other questions y'all may have and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so anytime i upload you will get that notification thank y'all for tuning in bye